Join me as I take the challenge of creating a simple start-stop circuit in ladder logic using DeepSeek AI. Let's see if I can nail it. In industrial automation, the ability to design and simulate control circuits is essential for ensuring a functionality of safety of a variety of systems. One of the fundamental circuits used in a control system is the start-stop circuit. Today, we will explore creating a start-stop circuit using DeepSeek AI for ladder logic programming. We will enter and test this generated code using a completely free Do More Designer software PLC simulator. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. The website offers extensive links, reference, and coding examples, making it a one-stop shop for all your automation queries. accautomation.ca What is DeepSeek? DeepSeek is a Chinese artificial intelligence AI startup that develops open source large language models, LLMs. DeepSeek AI models are designed to be more cost effective than other AI models while still being capable of generating human-like responses. It may provide tools or solutions that enhance efficiency in programming or controlling machinery, such as those through ladder logic programs used in PLCs or programmable logic controller programming. What is a start-stop circuit? A stop-start circuit is the fundamental control process that allows users to start and stop a motor or other devices at will. This circuit typically involves push buttons, one for starting, normally open, and one for stopping, normally closed. Understanding how a start-stop circuit operates is vital for anyone working in automation, as it serves as a foundation for more complex systems. Asking if AI can program a PLC. After logging into DeepSeek on your browser, select the DeepThink R1 option. This will allow you to understand how the AI is answering your question. We will ask, can you program a Brix Do More PLC in ladder logic? Okay, so the user is asking if I can program a BRX Do More PLC using ladder logic. Let me start by recalling what I know about BRX series PLCs. I remember that BRX is a product line from Automation Direct, and the Do More series is their newer generation of PLCs designed for more advanced control applications. First, I need to confirm whether the BRX Do More PLC supports ladder logic programming. From what I've learned, most PLCs, especially those aimed at industrial automation, do support ladder logic because it's a widely used standard. But I should double check if there are any exceptions or specific details about the BRX series. I think Automation Direct provides software called Do More Designer for programming their PLCs. Let me verify that. Yes, Do More Designer is the official IDE for BRX Do More PLCs. Now, does this software support ladder logic? The name Designer might imply a multi language environment. Ladder Logic is one of the IEC 61131 to 3 standard languages, which also includes structured text, function block diagrams, etc. Since BRX is a modern PLC, it's likely compliant with these standards. But maybe the user is specifically asking about Ladder Logic because they are more comfortable with it. I should confirm that Ladder Logic is not only supported, but is a primary method for programming these PLCs. Looking back at Automation Direct's documentation, the BRX series does indeed support Ladder Logic along with other languages. The Do More Designer software uses Ladder Logic as one of its main programming paradigms, which is good news for the user. Now, considering the user might be someone new to BRX PLCs, they might need a basic example. I should provide a simple ladder logic example, like turning on an output when an input is activated. But wait, I need to make sure about the addressing scheme for BRX PLCs. For example, discrete inputs might be addressed as X0, X1, etc., and outputs as Y0, Y1. However, BRX PLCs might use a different addressing convention. Let me check that. Upon reviewing, BRX PLCs use a tag-based system, which allows users to define symbolic names for inputs, outputs, and other variables. However, they also support direct addressing. For example, inputs could be referenced as X0, X1, and outputs as Y0, Y1. So a simple ladder rung would have a normally open contact X0 in series with a coil Y0 that would make Y0 turn on when X0 is activated. But the user might also benefit from knowing how the software environment works. For instance, creating a new project in Do More Designer, selecting the BRX model, configuring the hardware, and then writing the ladder logic. Including steps like compiling and downloading the program to the PLC would be helpful. Another point to consider is any specific instructions or features unique to the BRX series. For example, Do More PLCs have advanced instructions for motion control, networking, and data handling. But for a basic example, sticking with simple contacts and coils is better. I should also mention that Do More Designer provides simulation capabilities, allowing users to test their ladder logic without physical hardware. This is useful for troubleshooting and learning. Wait, the user might also want to know about documentation or resources, including a note about Automation Direct's website, user manuals, and example projects could be helpful. But since the question is about whether it's possible in a simple example, maybe that's beyond the scope unless the user asks for it. In summary, the answer should confirm that BRX Do More PLCs can be programmed in ladder logic using Do More Designer, provide a basic example, and mention the software's features relevant to ladder logic programming. Also, ensure that the example uses the correct addressing and syntax specific to BRX PLCs. Yes, you can program a BRX Do More PLC using ladder logic, which is fully supported by Automation Direct's Do More Designer software. Here's a concise breakdown. Key details. Software. Use Do More Designer, free download from Automation Direct, to write, simulate, and deploy ladder logic. 
Ladder Logic Support. BRX PLCs natively support Ladder Logic, LD, as part of the IEC 61131 to 3 standard, ideal for industrial automation tasks like relays, timers, counters, and complex control logic. Simple example turn on an output with an input, ladder rung, X0, input, e.g., a sensor or button, Y0, output, e.g., a motor or light. When X0 is activated, Y0 energizes. Steps to program create a project, open, do more designer, select your BRX model, configure IO, map physical inputs slash outputs to addresses, e.g., X0, Y0. Write logic, drag and drop ladder elements, contacts, coils, timers. Simulate, test logic in the built-in emulator. Download, transfer the program to the PLC via USB or Ethernet. Advanced features, tag-based addressing. Use symbolic names, e.g. start button instead of X0. Integrated instructions, timers, TUN, counters, CTU, PID loops, and motion control. Networking, easily integrate with HMI, SCADA, or other PLCs via Ethernet slash IP or Modbus. Documentation, Refer to Automation Direct's BRX manuals for detailed guides and examples. Ladder Logic is a core strength of the BRX platform, making it accessible for both beginners and advanced users. Like Gemini, I was originally impressed with DeepSeek AI. It even gives me a link to the Automation Direct website where I can find information about the Brix Do More PLC. DeepSeek's thought process is interesting. It allows us to see how it tries to solve the question, which helps us understand and learn along with the algorithm. I will now ask DeepSeek to create a start-stop circuit for the BRICS PLC. X1 is the start, X2 is the stop, and Y1 is the motor output. Okay, the user wants a start-stop circuit for a BRX PLC using ladder logic. They specified X1 as start, X2 as stop, and Y1 as the motor output. Let me recall how a standard start-stop latch works. Typically, it's a self-holding circuit where the start button, normally open, is pressed, energizing the coil, which then uses a parallel contact to keep itself on even after the start button is released. The stop button is usually normally closed, so that pressing it breaks the circuit. Wait, the user mentioned X2 is the stop. In PLCs, physical stop buttons are often wired as normally closed, NC for safety. So in the latter logic, if the physical input is NC, the PLC will see X2 as normally high. When the stop is pressed, X2 opens, and the PLC input goes low. Therefore, in the latter, we should use a normally open NO contact for X2. But since the physical input is NC, the logic might need to be inverted. Hmm, maybe I should clarify that. But the user didn't specify the type of input contacts. Let me assume that X1 is an NO push button, start, and X2 is an NC push button, stop. So in the latter, X2 would be a normally closed instruction, because the physical stop is in C. Wait no, if the physical input is in C, when the stop is not pressed, the input is active, X2 is on. When you press the stop, the input becomes OFF. So in the latter, to have the stop button act as a break, we should use a normally closed contact for X2. That way when the stop isn't pressed, the contact is closed, allowing current to flow. When pressed, the contact opens, stopping the motor. So the latter rung would be, start X1, NO in parallel with Y1 latching. In series with stop, X2 and C. Wait no, wait, the standard start stop is start NO, in parallel with the motor contact, Y1. All in series with stop and C. Wait no. Let me think again. The standard circuit is stop and C contact in series with start and O contact in parallel with the motor contact and O contact. So when you press start, the motor turns on and the parallel contact latches it. The stop is in series, so if stop is pressed, it breaks the circuit. But in terms of ladder logic, the stop button, if physically in C, would be represented as a normally closed instruction, X2. So the rung would be X2 and C, X1 and O, Y1 and O in parallel with X1, then Y1 coil. Wait, maybe I need to draw it out. Let me structure it step by step. The correct ladder structure for a start stop latches. The stop button X2 is a normally closed NC contact. The start button X1 is a normally open NO contact. The motor contact Y1 is in parallel with X1 to latch the circuit. So the rung would be. Wait, no, let me correct that. The correct structure is the stop is in series with the combination of start in parallel with the motor contact. So the stop X2 and C is the first element. Then in parallel, the start X1 and O and the Y1 and O contact. Then the Y1 coil. So the ladder rung would look like. In ladder logic notation, that would be. Wait, maybe I'm mixing up the drawing. Let me try to represent it correctly. The stop X2 and C is in series with the start X1 and O and the latching contact Y1 and O in parallel. So the rung is X2 and C contact. Then a branch where one path is X1 and O and the other is Y1 and O in parallel. Then the Y1 coil. So in ladder logic, it's. Wait, no, the Y1 contact should be in parallel with X1. So the correct way is. Wait, that's not right. Let's break it down. The current flows through X2 and C, then either through X1 and O or Y1 and O in parallel. So the structure is X2 and C is in series with the parallel combination of X1 and O, and Y1 and O, then the Y1 coil. So in ladder logic. But that's not correct. Wait, maybe the correct way is, the X2 and C contact is first. Then, a branch starts where one path is X1 and O, and the other path is Y1 and O. Both paths are in parallel. After that, the Y1 coil. So the rung would be. Yes, that's right. So the stop X2 and C, is in series with the parallel combination of start, X1 and O, and Y1 and O, then the Y1 coil. So when X2 is closed, stop not pressed, pressing X1 start, energizes Y1, which then keeps itself energized through its own contact. Pressing X2 stop, opens the X2 contact, breaking the circuit. But in terms of ladder logic elements, the X2 is represented as a normally closed instruction, forward slash, X1 is normally open, 
and Y1 contact is normally open, in parallel with X1, so the final ladder rung should look like. Wait no, the Y1 contact is in parallel with X1, so after X2, the path splits into two, one through X1, the other through Y1, then they merge and go to the coil, so the correct representation is. This seems correct, when X2 is closed, stop not pressed, either X1 or Y1 can keep Y1 energized, pressing X1 start, energizes Y1, and Y1 stays on by its own contact, pressing X2 stop, opens the X2 contact, de-energizing Y1. I should also mention that in the BRX PLC, the inputs and outputs are mapped as X0, X1 etc, for inputs in Y0, Y1 for outputs, so using X1 as start, and O, X2 as stop in C, and Y1 as the motor output is correct. Additionally, it's important to note that the stop button, X2, is wired as in C for safety reasons. If the wire breaks, the PLC will see it as a stop condition, which is safer than an inner contact where a broken wire wouldn't trigger a stop. So putting it all together, the ladder rung for the start-stop circuit should be as described. Let me make sure there are no errors. Let me simulate mentally. When X2 is not pressed, and C, so contact is closed, and X1 is pressed, and no contact closes, Y1 turns on. Y1's contact closes, latching the circuit. Even when X1 is released, Y1 stays on through its own contact. When X2 is pressed, contact opens. The circuit breaks, Y1 turns off, and its contact opens. When X2 is released, contact closes again. Y1 remains off until X1 is pressed again. Yes, that's correct. So the ladder logic is accurate. Here's the start-stop latch circuit for the BRX PLC using ladder logic. This classic seal in circuit keeps the motor, Y1, running after the start button, X1, is released and stops the motor when the stop button, X2 is pressed. Ladder logic diagram. Explanation. Stop button X2. Physically wired as a normally closed in C, button for safety, open when pressed. Represented as X2 with a normally closed contact, forward slash, in the ladder logic. Start button X1. Physically wired as a normally open and O button, closed when pressed. Represented as X1 with a normally open contact. Motor output Y1. The output coil Y1 is energized when the circuit is closed. A self-sealing, latching contact, Y1 in parallel with X1. Keeps Y1 energized after X1 is released. Behavior. Start. When X1 is pressed, current flows through X2 closed and X1 closed, energizing Y1. Latch. Once Y1 is energized, its parallel contact closes, maintaining the circuit even after X1 is released. Stop. When X2 is pressed, its contact opens, breaking the circuit and de-energizing Y1. Keynotes. Safety. The stop button, X2, is in C in hardware to ensure the motor stops if the circuit loses power or a wire breaks. Addressing. Use symbolic tags e.g. start stop motor. And do more designer for readability. Debouncing. Add timers if physical buttons cause noise. Not typically needed for basic setups. Testing and do more designer. Open the software and configure your BRX PLC model. Assign X1 start, X2 stop, and Y1 motor in the IO mapping. Program the ladder rung above. Simulate using the built-in emulator to verify the latch slash unlatch behavior. Download to the PLC and test with physical buttons. For more details, refer to the BRX user manual. This circuit is foundational for motor controls, conveyor systems, and other industrial automation tasks. If we try this in the BRX Do More Designer PLC simulator, we can turn the output on, but we cannot turn it off. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like button below. Keeping up with the latest automation innovations can be difficult, so hit the subscribe button. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Let's see if DeepSeek can modify the program for the correct ladder logic for the start-stop circuit. The ladder circuit diagram is incorrect. Okay, the user said the ladder circuit diagram I provided is incorrect. Let me double check what I wrote. In my previous response, the ladder logic was drawn with X2 stop, as a normally closed contact, X1 start, as normally open, and Y1 in parallel with X1. That should create a seal in circuit. Wait, but maybe the way I drew the rung is structurally wrong in ladder logic terms. Let me visualize it again. The user is using a BRX PLC, so the contacts and coils need to follow the correct syntax. The stop button X2 is typically a normally closed in C physical button, so in the ladder logic, it should be represented as a normally open and O contact because when the button is not pressed, the circuit is closed. Wait, no, that's a common confusion. Let me clarify. Physical NC stop button wired to the PLC input. When the button is not pressed, the input is active, on, and when press the input is off so in the ladder logic to have the stop button act as a break we should use a normally closed in c contact symbol forward slash which will open when the input x2 is activated button pressed so when x2 is pressed the contact opens breaking the circuit that part seems right but maybe the way the parallel branch is drawn is incorrect in ladder logic the ceiling contact y1 should be in parallel with x1 so the start button x1 and o and y1 and o are in parallel both in series with the stop button x2 and c wait no the standard start stop circuit has the stop in c contact in series with the start in o contact and the ceiling contact let me sketch it mentally the main rung should be stop x2 and c contact in series with a combination of start x1 and o in parallel with y1 and o contact then driving the y1 coil so the structure is x2 and c x1 and o y1 and o y1 coil but in ladder logic the parallel branch is created by a branch around the x1 contact so the correct diagram would have x2 and c in series with x1 and o then a branch around x1 that has y1 and o then the y1 coil let me confirm with the standard start stop ladder you're absolutely right my initial ladder diagram had an error in the y1 contact type incorrectly shown as normally closed instead of normally open let me provide the corrected circuit with a clear explanation corrected start stop ladder logic step-by-step -step explanation stop button x2 hardware physically wired as a normally closed nc button opens when pressed ladder logic represented as a normally closed contact forward slash this ensures the motor stops if the button is pressed or if there's a wiring fault start button x1 hardware physically wired as a normally open no button closes when pressed ladder logic represented as a normally open contact Ceiling contact, Y1. Function, a normally open and O contact, of Y1 in parallel with X1. When Y1 energizes, this contact closes, creating a self-sustaining circuit latching. Motor output, Y1. Energizes when the circuit is closed and de-energizes when the circuit breaks. Behavior, 
Starting the motor. Press X1, the circuit closes through X2 closed, and X1 closed. Y1 energizes. Y1's NO contact closes, latches the circuit even after X1 is released. Stopping the motor. Press X2, X2's NC contact opens, the circuit breaks, Y1 de-energizes. Y1's NO contact reopens, unlatches the circuit. Key fixes from previous diagram. Y1 contact type. Changed from forward slash, NC to, NO, to enable proper latching. Parallel branch logic. Ensures Y1's contact is in parallel with X1, not in series. Testing and do more designer. Assign addresses. X1 equals start, NO physical button. X2 equals stop, NC physical button. Y1 equals motor output. Simulate. Use the emulator to verify. Press X1, Y1 stays on after releasing X1. Press X2, Y1 turns off. Why this works? Safety. X2 breaks the circuit when pressed, fail safe design. Latching. Y1's NO contact seals the circuit, eliminating the need to hold X1. Thank you for catching that error. Let me know if you need further clarification. DeepSeek still has the simple start-stop ladder logic incorrect. In a circuit diagram for the ladder logic, the stop X2 or normally closed should be outside the ceiling contact from the start X1 normally closed input. Here's a modification required in the ladder logic programming software. Although we were not able to get DeepSeek to create the ladder logic, it was interesting to see how the algorithm tried to solve the problem. Five languages can be used to program PLCs using the IEC 61131-1 standard. AI, Large Language Models, LLM, using textual languages seemed better suited over graphical control. Structured text and instruction lists are the two textual PLC programming languages. We recently used AI to program the LS Electric XGB PLC in structured text. Click here to see how we did it. Click here to see the entire series on the BRICS Do More PLC and Simulator.